this are decoder for this decoder to work on your installation this decoder need to be plugged in a adapter 12 volt adapter 12 volt adapter and 12 volt adapter even for your explorer we need this adapter to be connected to the explorer to be connected to the hd to be connected to the s model for your decoder to work stay tuned to the end on this video i'm going to show you how to test your adapter this adapter can go for your hd is a 12 volt 2m this adapter can go for your explorer is a 12 volt 3.7m and this adapter called charger can go for your laptop is a 19 volt 3m stay tuned till the end and don't forget to subscribe i'll show you how to test this adapter with your multimeter thank you let me take you there thank you to be here thank you to come again on my channel on your channel on our channel Channel of technician, channel of technician of satellite, channel of technician of refrigeration, channel of technician of electronic, channel of entrepreneur, yes, channel of business people. Welcome, guys. I'm going to show you in this video how to test your adapter, which is very simple to do. You can call me Alphonse Foucault. Your adapter using on your decoder actually is the adapter who provide 12 volt DC. This adapter receives 220 volt alternative voltage or alternative current and come out, transform the 220 volt to 12 volt. The difference between the two adapter, because we got an adapter for your Explorer and you have to notice that it's also a 12 volt, even though it's bigger. This one is 12 volt, this one is 12 volt. Normally, this one go for your smallest decoder. It's a 12 volt 2M. And this one is a 12 volt 3.7M. If the intensity is bigger, that means it has more power. If the intensity is small, it got a less power. So the transformer or the adapter of the your explorer got more power than the adapter of your single hd decoder because it's bringing out 3.7 m and this one bring only 2 m now as i have seen the charger you have to just know that the charger receive 220 volt and come out 12 volt so testing this adapter will be to identify if we got output 12 volt output if we got a 12 volt output mean our power supply our adapter is fine i'm going to show you with my multimeter how to do that okay, i'm saying on this video actually we show you how to test your adapter we usually call it uh, a charger or power supply actually the adapter is a device who supply a 12 volt on your dstv decoder at the moment uh, we need our multimeter which we're gonna put on the position of a voltmeter so uh, on this picture i'm showing you right now we got three adapter as you can see we got a first one on your left which is the adapter for your explorer if you check very well you can see they say output voltage is 12 volt and then the intensity is 3.75 amp and the next one which is the adapter for your your dstv small decoder you can see that we have a 12 volt also dc uh, direct continue and then we got 2000 milliamp which is 2 amp so that one in the middle is less powerful than the the one using for the explorer because the one using for explorer requested 3.7 m 
and the one using for that small decoder is only a 2 amp the the right one here which, which we have there is uh, this adapter we call this one charger this one is for your laptop so uh, i'm using this opportunity to show you also how to test your laptop uh, uh, charger so the laptop charger here is uh, using uh, a dc voltage as well if that dc voltage is not present you're going to have uh, your laptop not uh, uh, having the power and then you're not going to work so for the laptop we got a 9 19 volt 19 volt um, voltage and then uh, we're going to show you how to do the test with your multimeter so you have to get a multimeter so basically what i want to explain to you also here is that uh, either uh, the power supply for your explorer or the power supply for your small uh, decoder for dstv or the charger for your laptop all these uh, adapter they use uh, 220 it depends of the country where you are but for south africa we use 220 volt 220 volts receive as a uh, uh, AC voltage, AC mean alternative alternative current. So AC voltage is the one coming from the plug, the one coming from the the plug. So it coming from the plug, and then you have to go to your adapter. That two twenty volt go to your adapter, and then it come out for your explorer. It gonna come out twelve volt, uh, three point seven amp, and for the small one, it gonna come out twelve volt two amp. And the laptop is going to come out also uh, 19 volt. For the, the this one is 19 volt. And then it come out for 19 volt. 19 volt, 3.1, 3.1 amp. So that's how, uh, that is the characteristic of your power supply. Okay. Uh, let's go and show you exactly how to do the test with the multimeter. To do the test, you have to get your multimeter like this one. We're going to put the multimeter on the voltmeter. Uh, we're going to put it on the voltmeter. Listen here, yeah, I want you to, to see here. Yeah, we got a alternative current and then we got a continue current. You could see the continuity, the symbol of continuity there, and the uh, volt. Uh, alternative current you can see the symbol of uh, uh, alternative current so uh, like I say if you got adapter like this one this adapter actually this adapter actually have to be power with 220 volt here so in another way you have to make sure that your your current coming from the plug is bringing your 220 which should plug here so the first way to test your adapter at home simply take the the power cord and put it here and then you see if this light is coming on so actually if this light is on you can say that uh, your adapter your power supply is receiving the current let's see this one what gonna happen I'm going to put it the plug there I plug it in and look at here you can see the light is now on it's then green meaning now i can assume that my power supply are receiving the 220 volt it might be working but to confirm that i have to use my multimeter because i receive the alternative current 220 volt this power supply will transform this 220 volt and D on dc so dc mean a direct current so we got the alternative current go in and then we come out with the DC current so the 220 volt will come out here in 12 volt 12 volt 3.7 amp so I have to use this end this is the end will go to my DSTV plug okay so I'm going to check to make sure that this end is giving me the 12 volt if you giving me the 12 volt that means my power supply is fine or if it doesn't give me the power the 12 volt that means the power supply is not good if you don't have a multimeter if basically if you take this one you put in at the back of your explorer and the explorer doesn't display any light on in front of the explorer you may have a power supply with damage so uh, uh, basically firstly check if you got a green light coming on in your power supply secondly 
plug it at the back of your decoder and see if the decoder is coming on or not. If the decoder is not coming on and then if you don't have a green light on your power supply, you may say your power supply is not good. So it will be better for you to get another power supply and test your decoder with. But now, if you are able to have a multimeter like this, you're going to do what? What are you going to do? You're going to put your multimeter on voltmeter on the, on the continue symbol, DC continue symbol. And then you can even see it's going to appear the DC voltage. We got zero volts there. And then we tag the end of our adapter like this one. And then we're going to check to see if we got a voltage on it. So the red one should be the positive and the black one should be the negative. So always check where you are putting your red one. Your red one should be the common. Your black, sorry, your black one should be the common and the red one should be red on the voltage. So what you do after plug, plug your power supply on the, the on, on 220, now you're gonna test here and see if you got a voltage. So the black one is gonna be uh, your negative. Remember the direct current, the, the direct current got negative and positive. So we put the other one inside. Look there, you can see we got our 12 volt. Mean our adapter is good. But if we couldn't have that 12 volt, the adapter will be considered damaged and then we need to buy another one and replace it. Okay? You can see how it's simple to test your 12 volt. The meter show us our 12 volt DC. And uh, this one, this one is actually simple to do so as well because like you can see on this one, it's also 12 volt, 12 volt 2 m so immediately when you plug it when you plug it to your 220 volt you're supposed to have 12 volt coming out and when you plug it in your 220 volt you're supposed to have this light on if the light is not on meaning that this thing might be damaged so i'm going to plug this one you're going to use the multimeter and test the 12 volt if it's present or not okay i'm going to plug it and then i use my multimeter Remember, the multimeter should be always on the from off. You must always put it on continue current. And you can see here DC voltage. So I have plugged the small transformer because this part is a negative. I put the black one there and then I'll put now the red one in the middle. So to show you how it's showing what voltage I got, you can see there I got the 12 volt. You can see I got a 12 volt. All right. I got the 12 volt. Guys, I hope this short video was very interesting for you. Give us a sign of being in this community just by liking the video and by sharing the video. Guys, subscribe. Subscribe to the better content like this one. Because on this channel, I always give you a permanent content. Thank you for watching. See you next time. We are family.